Hello everyone, I wanted to share a case study involving Lori Villau and Chad Debo, who are awaiting trial for the murder of their children, JJ Villau and Tylee Villau, who were age 7 and 16, when they were found in uh, Chad's backyard. How well, that happened to be is very interesting and very dark. Um, which it all began when Lori Villau started acting out of character and very obsessive with her beliefs. Um, they believed in a in the coming of of a god and resurrection and only certain people surviving this new coming. Um, but the first signs happened to be when Alex Cox killed Charles Villau, Lori's husband, um, in self-defense when he was picking up JJ. Then after that, Alex Cox was actually found dead in his wife's apartment, which I just want to point out, Alex Cox was very obsessive with his sister. Um, and the way Adam Cox, another sibling describes, was very um, out of character, a bit sensual. Um, but anyways, uh, once he was found dead, um, the authorities were able to get into his phone and find evidence that led them to the finding of the children, which also sparked um, new a new discovery about Tammy Dave Bell's death after she was mysteriously found dead um, in her sleep which also happened to be around the time that Chad Daybell and Lori Villal were um, found to be partners, which I also want to point out when this was happening. Um, when the children had gone missing, instead of looking for them, Lori Villal was getting married in Hawaii to Chad Daybell. But now, now that this is all out in the light, she's found incompetent and... At first, they wanted different trials of Chad and Lori um, separate, but the judge has just ruled that Lori and Chad will be tried um, together. It was just ruled three days ago, um, so I just hope that the family gets justice and that it's handled um, ethically and that the courts do what they are best at.